You were talking about how your music is based a lot on a punk rock attitude, and I was wondering what is it about the punk rock movement and the punk rock attitude that had the most influence on you, personally? Well, I mean, for a start, I mean, it not only gave me my start in music, but um, it gave us our, you know, the avenue, we, it gave us an avenue for our lives, because in England, in the mid-70s, there really wasn't any jobs, um, whatever you did, whether you were a college grad or a rubbish collector, you know, it didn't matter, garbage collector, whatever, it didn't matter, there were no jobs, so our thing was, well, you, then we're going to create a world, you know, and we're going to attack your world that won't give us with music, you know, with love in a way, but you know, we're going to attack you, we're going to hurt you in the balls, kick you in the balls with music, you know. And it was kind of a great way of making a statement, you know, you sort of reignited the power of rock and roll to make a statement, and um, it ended up giving me a future. I, I never thought about that in a way. We were doing it sort of purely of the moment. <laughs> but of course, we loved music, that's what we always wanted to do. It was like, it was the final thing where it made us do what we wanted to do. You know, the world made us do it. You know, it's great. Thank God the world makes you do what you have to do. You know, it's like some people anyway did me. You know, because I, I wanted, I dreamt, I used to dream about being in a band. I, I used to watch Ready Steady Go and look at The Who and Jimi Hendrix and, and think they're going all over the world. And I'm stuck here watching this black and white telly on a Friday afternoon. And the who are going to gallivant in those high heel shoes everywhere. I don't know, you know, and then they played that great music and, you know, it just made you come, you, you're so young, it was just, you know, really, that's, then, that's just what we wanted to do with Until the People when we were at that age, 20, 21, you know, I wanted to do the same thing, really. I wish there's some, I hope there's somebody else somewhere going mad. To Billy Idol music, you know, just like I was getting all sweaty to the Beatles <laughs> under my cover, listening to the radio Luxembourg fading in and out. She loves <laughs> you lost your <laughs> your good years. It was like the wildest thing, but I'd be under the covers, you know, and then I'd get sweaty and start thinking like you're on stage. You know, I don't know, it's really dopey, but. <laughs> It's part of, I think, you know, you know, if you really love something, you start dreaming it up. You know, it's like the, the Aborigines, they, they dream up the country, they believe they're dreaming up. I think they're right. I think you do dream up the country. You dream up your landscape that makes your own mental, emotional landscape. You, know, you can, I, I think you can, you know. Well, that's, at least that's what I did and uh, I've had a great time, so thank you.